Hello YouTube and welcome to video 4 in my series on utilizing Blender as a video editor. Today I'm going to talk about transitions. Now what do I mean by that? I mean, you know, fade-ins, fade-outs, wipes, and stuff like that. It's really not that hard to do with Blender, so let's get right to it. So let's first select the timeline here, and we're going to do a fade-in. Now what do we need to actually fade-in? We first need to have a color to fade from, and we need to have footage to fade to. So we already have the footage available here that is the footage we're going to fade to. I just need to lay down a black strip that it will fade from. So we need to actually go to set it where we want to place it first, put it on 0 or 1, and go to add and go to effect strip, and we're going to add a color. There we go. Now, it has these little arrows on the side, and that means I can stretch the color to cover any number of frames. I'm going to make this stretch out to 200 frames. There we go, and we're going to place it with our left click button. And now this is very important. It matters what order that you select your video in order to actually control which way a fade happens. So if I actually select this color strip, and then I hold shift and select the video, that means that it's going to first show the color strip when it does the fade, and then it's going to fade out, or it's going to fade into the video. So if I did the reverse and selected the video source first, and then shift selected the color, it's going to fade, it's going to start with the video source and fade out to the black. So what we want to do is we want to fade in. So I need to select the color, shift, right click, and select the video source. Now I go to add, and I go to effect strip, and I'm going to do a cross. Now we're going to show you what it looks like by hitting play down here. There you go. And that's a simple fade in. Now just to demonstrate how the fade out works, it's just the reverse. Let's control Z, and I'm going to select the source first, then I'm going to select the color strip, and then I'm going to go to add, effect strip, and cross, and now you'll notice it's fading out. That's how easy it is to do fade in and fade out. It's really not hard at all. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try doing other types of transitions. I'm just control Zing just to get rid of everything. Let's cut this footage here just so I can overlay it so that we can actually do some of the other transitions. So I'm going to do a hard cut. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. I want to select both of them and hard cut them both. And then I'm going to group select these and I'm going to move them up so they're over the other footage. So what we're going to do is we want to actually transition from one uh, from one video to the next video. And the way that we do that is pretty, it's pretty similar to the way that we were actually, the similar to the rules that we had when we were doing uh, fade in, fade out. It matters what order that you select your video. If you, uh, the video that is selected first will be prioritized to be shown first, and then it will transition to the other one. So it matters, uh, it matters what order you do it. So I know that I want this video to transition to that one, so I have to select it in that order. Select it. Select this one with your right button, hold shift to select this one. That's what we're transitioning between. So we're going to go to add, and we're going to go to effect strip, and we're going to do, sorry, a simple cross. And now you'll be able to see what that looks like by hitting play. Kind of ghosted there it looked like. But you can see it kind of faded into the other footage. Okay. That was pretty simple. Now let's do a wipe. It's a series of wipes you can easily do. We're going to select this footage first, and then we're going to shift and select that footage. And we're going to add effect strip, and we're going to go to wipe. And now we're going to watch what the wipe looks like. It, by default, it's going to do what they call a single wipe, which is going to go down. So we're going to watch that. You can see that. But the cool thing about the wipe is that you can actually configure the options. So if you select this with your right mouse button and then scroll down, you can see 
you can see there's a section that says transition and it's set to single. I can switch it to double. You can see it's starting from the center and going out. I can switch it to iris, which will open up an iris. You can see that, there we go. And I can switch it to a clock. Pretty simple. Transitions are really easy to do with Blender. Now there are ways to do really advanced transitions, but this is just the easy built-in ways that um, are, are made available to you. So I think that should do it for transitions, and I'll see you in the next video.